guys have brought a, a new type of tile plow to uh, to Western Canada. You're call, it's called the V plow. Can you explain what uh, what it is? How it's different from uh, from the current version of, of tile plows? Sure. So the um, the plowing method of installing tile it really uh, developed and evolved sort of through the I would say in the late 50s, early 60s is when plowing really came of age. Um, basically until that point trenches were always excavated so you would remove all of the soil down to the point where you wanted to install the tile you'd take that soil out you'd put the pipe in and then you'd put the soil back and so that resulted in a lot of soil mixing so then the single leg plows came along which is what's traditionally been used for installing tile here in North America and it's just a big shank a ripper that gets pulled through the ground and it moves up and down on you know to keep the pipe on grade uh, really was a huge revolution in how to install pipe, made it much more efficient, much more accurate, a lot less disturbance than the chain trencher or the, or the wheel trencher. Um, there's another technology that has been also developing over the last, I'm not sure, maybe 20 or 30 years uh, in Europe called a V-plow. And essentially it's uh, the same method of plowing where you, you just pull a shank through the ground, but instead of a single shank, it's a V-shape. And what that does is it allows the, uh, this, this wedge of soil to get lifted up, the pipe gets inserted below that wedge of soil and the wedge of soil is deposited back down. So the advantage there, when, when we pull a single shank through, it's still accurate, it's still efficient, uh, but it does leave a, a rut that um, either has to be closed back in mechanically or it takes quite a bit of time with natural forces, weather, etc. to have that trench settle back in. It's still less disturbance than the chain trencher, the really old style of, of uh, installation, um, but you, you're left with this, this rut, this trench. Um, so what we've been using is sort of a, a modified disc or blade to bring the soil back in, heap it up over top of this, this, where the pipe has gone in, and then it gets packed in and then through natural settling processes the soil will recomposition itself to have the, the natural stability. It does take time for it to do that and so what, what we noticed was some of our clients would, would talk about how they could feel these ruts for years, uh, especially with high clearance sprayers. There's also times and it was really, really weather specific depending on how much moisture was in the soil during installation, how much moisture came after. Um, the occasional uh, producer has had trouble with actually losing equipment in the trenches where a high clearance sprayer would drop a tire in. Uh, couldn't get out and so you'd have damage that would happen uh, on the pipe uh, you'd have equipment getting stuck that kind of thing it's not it's not a hugely common problem but it can happen uh, so what the v-plow does is it, it it has this wedge of relatively undisturbed soil that gets lifted up as the plow slides through the ground the pipe comes underneath it drops back down so you're not left with that that furrow that rut that trench that needs to get closed in you don't have all the disturbed soil to, uh, to try and get settled and, and firm back up again. And so it results in, in you know, less problems with equipment getting stuck, uh, easier to traffic over the field, especially right after installation. And also what, what we really like about it is that it maintains all the soil layers. So instead of mixing this trench where you have uh, the A and B and C horizons getting mixed together, the, all those layers of soil are maintained in their integrity and they're put right back down where they came from. So the V-plow has been used extensively in Europe. In fact, in Holland, uh, you'd be hard pressed to find a single leg plow anymore. Um, everything's moved over to V-plows. They're also common in the UK. Um, it's something that I've seen in my travels over the years and wondered, you know, why aren't we using this style of plow here in North America? Um, so we, uh, we decided to take the step to try one. Um, we've put in about 100 or so acres with it now. We're very happy with the results. Uh, the client is very happy as well. Uh, does a really nice job accuracy wise and uh, like I say the soil disturbance is, is very minimal. So, so far it looks really good. Are, are there any downsides or it seems like a pretty basic concept or not yeah. very complicated. Why, why hasn't it taken off here? Well I think there's a couple things. One is our style of tiling here in North America would be that we use mains. So larger pipes at the end of the field. The mains still can't be installed with the V-plow, so we still have to put a single leg on, install the mains, get that part done, then switch over to the V-plow. Whereas in Europe they have a lot of ditches through the field and they'll just do individual tile lines outletting into the ditches. So they're not switching back and forth. So it's a little more complicated for us on the installation side that we still have to have both. We have to swap back and forth to be able to do that. Uh, the other thing is the V-plow would be limited a little bit in depth. Uh, right now 
to using the V-plow only for laterals, we can plow at about a max depth of about five feet, whereas a single leg, if we really had to, we could go seven and a half. So that would be the other limiting factor. And we think there's probably a little bit of a penalty as far as fuel consumption and efficiency. Um, and in addition, we have to haul this piece of equipment around and swap it. So there's a couple things that make installation a little more complicated, but we think the benefit to the uh, end user is, is, is better than what, what the uh, losses are to us on the installation side. Overall, are you still not talking specifically about the V-Power? Are you still seeing the same amount of interest in, in tiling in, in Western Canada, or, or what's the trend like? Yeah, I mean, it, I think it's it's tempered a little bit with uh, commodity prices going down, but land prices staying up. Uh, we've had a, you know, still this year here in our part of Southern Manitoba, we've seen tremendous response to tile drainage. Um, crops that have tile on them are, are just fabulous and, and noticeably better than irrigation fields that don't have tile. So there's it's been a really good testimony for tile again this year here in our area. Um, we think that, well, we know that the interest is there when we talk to guys, uh, but it has been tempered a little bit with low commodity prices. We've definitely felt that. All right. Well, thanks for taking time to uh, chat with us here. All right. Thanks, Kelvin. Have a good day.